How's it going, Scorpio? This is going to be all the blessings coming towards you within the next 30 days. So throughout the month of September 2024, as promised, I'm announcing that I'm giving away two free personal readings. Those two people that are chosen will be able to tell me what they would like their reading to be about. All you need to do is become a subscriber to take part in my monthly giveaways. So go ahead and do that. Um, and then new and returning subscribers, go ahead and leave that fall emoji. Whatever is fall to you. It is my favorite season. I know those of you in the Southern Hemisphere are moving into spring, but my birthday falls in October, so I just want to embrace the fall energy. So leave something fallish um, down below. And then at the end of this month, and this holds true for each and every month, Scorpio, I will randomly choose those people to win the giveaway. And I'll always remind you the very last weekend of each month to pay attention to your notifications. All right, let's get into it. All the blessings coming your way within the next 30 days for my Scorpios. For my Scorpios. Door to Romance. You know what's crazy? When I picked this deck up and I started shuffling, this was the first card that grabbed my attention. Door to Romance. 33. Door to value. I feel multiple doors of opportunity opening up for you. We have 31 and 33. So we have 33 three, and then we have a 4. Multiple doors of opportunity. Opening up. And it doesn't just have to be door to value financial influx. I feel that a lot of... Like I said, a lot of blessings are rolling into your life. A lot of growth within your life. Door to spirit. 31, 32, 33. Very synchronistic, Scorpio. We have door to romance, value, and door to spirit opening up. Multiple opportunities opening for you. This is... In all the readings that I've done in this session so far, this is the first time that three doors of opportunity are opening up. All right, Scorpio, I'm intrigued. Despair. So this is a five. We have 32, 32. So for those of you feeling this, if you notice, it's obviously a hardship. I hate that they added a dog here. Breaks my heart, but hardships, you know, feeling stuck, lack of journey, possibly a broken heart, not hiring in the window. So maybe out of financial um, constraint, restraint, but know that this is temporary. With 32, 32 coming out, there is fast change coming in. false person. I really feel someone wearing a mask here. Someone who is not completely open and honest about their intentions towards you. I have to say, I don't feel it's in a negative way. I feel someone is coming towards you with strong feelings and emotions. Someone who's hiding behind a mask for now. Yeah, there's something brand new blossoming in your life. This is innovation. This is beginnings. This is being very focused. And this is something developing in your life. Another three. Many options. Having many choices opening up for you. Free will. Adjacent possibilities. All right, and then we have making a decision, taking a risk. I really feel a lot of change and growth happening. 
fast change coming in. And then we have this. Tandem's bicycle and crack shot. It's like you got the eye on the prize. <clears throat> Two and three, another five. Multiple threes, multiple fives so far. It's like things are, they're coming together and they're coming it together quickly, synchronized, becoming in sync with a certain journey, with a certain path and everything falling into place, finally becoming aligned for all these blessings to come into your life. It's like you've got your eye on a target. All right, let's get it. Let's get it deeper. Yeah, you are definitely moving in a specific direction. You're very passionate about this direction. For some of you, you're falling in love with this direction, with this person. Spirit is bringing in this blessing. We're going to do beginning, middle, and end of month, and then we're going to clarify. Look at this. Beginning of the month, Four of Wands, 11-11. A lot of additional stability and support. Focus on your happiness. I don't feel you're doing it alone. There's someone very special coming towards you. Three of Wands, taking action, bringing those blessings towards you. Scorpio, you've been so hard at work on yourself, and in the next 30 days, it's time for you to receive a blessing. For some of you, multiple blessings. And Seven of Swords. Like I said, I feel someone who is held back, how they feel for you is coming in with feelings and emotions. Someone that is, you know, up for the challenge. With door to romance, obviously it could be romantic. It doesn't have to be for each and every one of you. Some of you might be experiencing a very um, recent breakup or disagreement with someone. And I feel that the two of you will get that opportunity to talk and overcome that. Eight of Swords. Look at how this person is climbing out of their mind space. You are breaking free from feeling restrained. Yeah, you're moving away from the troubled water, Scorpio. You're over it. You're over, I just heard deception. You're over people wearing a mask around you. You're over feeling constrained. You are over the troubled waters that lie in your life. You are moving forward. For some of you, you might even be taking a vacation with Six of Swords and Three of Wands. That is actual movement. That it could be a vacation. But you are focused on peace and harmony in your life. And those people that are going to bring it towards you. Yeah. Multiple doors of opportunity are opening up to bring balance into your life. For some of you, it's going to be financial and love. Six of Cups. So you know who this person is coming in. Platonic or romantic, you know who this person is making their way towards you. As I stated, I feel like they're wearing a mask for right now. You are this person's wish fulfillment. What it is that you're manifesting, <clears throat> Scorpio, and it could be multiple opportunities that you're manifesting. Remember, we have consecutive super full moons. So August had a super full moon. September has a super full moon. And I believe um, October has a super full moon. It's a very rare event. But it look up moon rituals for manifesting on YouTube. That's how I got started. Multiple blessings are coming in for you. But I feel it's one person, you know, specifically for some of you, it's one person taking their mask off. And letting you know how they feel. Letting you know that they're thinking of you. Letting you know that they're missing you. You're all about the strategic moves in this month. 
You're receiving an aha moment in multiple things in the next 30 days. And you're taking fast action towards them, Scorpio. I love this for you. For some of you, you may be very good at something. You just got that creative mind. You know, you might want to break ground on starting something for yourself. This is the this is the confirmation to do that. Take a chance. Extend yourself in a direction that you've always dreamed about following. It will turn out to be a success. But there is someone who wants to come into sync with you, in tandem with you. Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, Six of Wands. This person is coming forward. Queen of Swords, they might have felt cold, they might have felt restricted because they had their guard up, but they're following their intuition. They want to move forward with you. Spirit, why is the Seven of Swords here twice with person wearing a mask? Seven of Swords here twice with person wearing a mask. Look at this. Someone is coming in very confident. It is a fated partner. Not only are you moving towards specific opportunities, doors to value, doors to love, doors to spirit. Not only are you moving forward for, with these specific breakthroughs in your life with confidence. You've got positive karma surrounding you. Positive energy. So it's like within the next 30 days, it's got success written in every direction that you move forward with. Multiple doors of possibilities and success are opening up for you. Specifically, I feel someone coming towards you with a lot of love, a lot of emotional feelings. It is a fated partner, so platonic soulmate, romantic soulmate. But this person is coming in confident about what they have to reveal to you. This is a beautiful reading. It started out that way. I feel with Queen of Cups here, your energy, I feel that you're open to this person coming towards you. Give me a minute. I want to get the two cards that fell on the floor as messages from your higher self. As soon as I started the reading, these fell out. Did I mess up the... That candle is lit. You can't tell it, though. All right. Messages from your higher self, Scorpio. Make time to play. Have fun and be free. Be that free spirit. You know? Draw all these doors of opportunity in threes. Draw them to you. Listen to your body and do what it is asking of you. Take that time. Recoup. Rejuvenate. Refresh. Be lighthearted about what is coming towards you. And be aware because someone is sneaking up behind you whom you may have, you know, they don't care for me. I'll never hear from them again. Um, they were, you know, cold and restricted. I, you know, I couldn't, I just couldn't break through that barrier. Mm. Door to romance. It's opening. Vacation. Spirit is definitely coming through saying to take time for yourself. Escape. Call out. Take a personal day. Do what you love to do, Scorpio. You know I'm all about the uh, vacations. And there it is. Find your aim in life. For some of you, you are traveling. For some of you, you might be traveling towards someone. Um, physical distance away from you, like different state, different country. But there is very slow progress. And I see three doors of opportunity opening up for you. And that opportunity is coming in quick. Remember, multiple threes are here. Uh, five, five is here, so change is coming. 32, 32 is another synchronicity. You will be seeing these numbers now. 
All right, Scorpio, go ahead and leave the word giveaway. No, I'm sorry. Leave something fallish. Fall emoji down below in the comment section. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in my monthly giveaways. Anytime you want me to tune in to just your energy, click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. And over there, I offer a variety of readings, personal readings. Um, and there is a sale going on right now. I forgot to pull one card from this deck. Shower of Blessings. Open, your, open yourself to receive. Pay it forward. Pay it forward in any way you can. It does not have to be financial. Pay it forward if you can in like the drive through line of Starbucks. I know it's a, I know it's a steep pay it forward, believe me, for a coffee in Starbucks. Um, if you see a stray animal on the side of the road, pay it forward. Will it change the whole course of your day? Maybe even show up late to work? It will. But when you pay it forward, you will get so many blessings in return. And don't pay it forward to receive those blessings. Just pay it forward from the kindness of your heart, maybe even opening the door for someone and smiling at them as they pass through, whether they say thank you or not. Multiple doors of opportunity are opening up. This is good karma because of all the, all the energy that you're putting out there for other people, for the universe to absorb. This is blessings that you deserve. All right, Scorpio, so much love and light.